Do you think it's time to build a more efficient, dynamic, and transparent financial system following the latest Ripple's commercial? Moreover, Stuart Alderity, general counsel of Ripple Incorporated, explained why Bitslato's shutdown is good for the crypto sphere in the long run. However, despite all current happenings, Ripple's ODL service continues to expand. Are you interested in finding out how Ripple got 80 billion XRP? Well, stick with me to learn more from Matt Hamilton's explanation. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of participating, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment with the hashtag XRP, and the winner will be announced on January 31st. Prominent XRP supporter at one cryptic poet has shared via his Twitter handle that Ripple Fintech Giant has released a new commercial. The video was launched on Ripple's YouTube channel about one day ago with a thousand views so far. The description for the video says, It's time to build a more efficient, dynamic, and transparent financial system. Ripple's crypto solutions empower innovative finance leaders to drive business advantage from crypto today. The ad says that the current financial system allows finance to be stuck in the same old cycle and not move forward. Crypto solutions, it says then, are transforming finance, making it faster and a lot more efficient than anybody could ever think. With crypto and Ripple in particular, finance is moving into a dynamic new era. The previous Ripple TV commercial was launched in 2019 as part of the awareness campaign the crypto giant was conducting back then. As reported by U.Today last year, Ripple's advertisements were also spotted on Wall Street and in the London Tube at Liverpool Street Station. Those advertisements appeared despite the current lawsuit that was started against Ripple by the SEC in December 2020. Despite the fact that Bitslato's service was not popular in the US and Europe, its recent shutdown and criminal case against its founder made headlines in crypto media. Meanwhile, some crypto commentators used this case to mock American regulators and law enforcement bodies. Mr. Alderity took to Twitter to share his views on the charges against Anatoly Legatomov, a co-founder and top manager of Hong Kong registered crypto exchange Bitslato. Ripple GC admitted that he had not heard about Bitslato and its operations before the founder's arrest was announced, but he is sure that the case is of particular importance for crypto regulation. He claimed that the U.S. Department of Justice made it clear that those using cryptocurrency instruments for money laundering and other crimes will be prosecuted and punished. All in all, Alderity says, it is a good policy for the law enforcer. Commentators on his Twitter feed stressed that the crypto sphere itself should not be treated as a problem, but criminals should. However, the DOJ statement says that it was also used for laundering money from Hydra, a now defunct, formerly largest darknet marketplace. Users of crypto Twitter are mocking the fact that US regulators attacked Bitslato after failing to protect investors into FTX, Celsius, Three Arrows Capital, and other villains of 2022. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Ripple Chief Executive Officer Brad Garlinghouse has asserted that over half of the transaction volume the company processes via its various payment reels now goes through XRP. The Ripple Chief said this in a recent fireside chat on CNBC's Tech Transformers at Davos. For context, Garlinghouse made this claim as he explained that the blockchain-focused payments company continued to grow abroad despite legal troubles at home. The Ripple chief pointed out that over 95% of the firm's customers signed in the aftermath of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit are outside the U.S. According to Garlinghouse, Ripple is continuing to see growth in this regard. Now well over 95% of the customers we've signed in the last two years are non-US, our activity is growing more and more outside the United States and it's because you have this confusion in the United States, we're now processing billions of dollars of transactions every quarter. Consequently, Garlinghouse says Ripple now processes billions of dollars every quarter via its cross-border payment rails. Furthermore, according to the Ripple chief, over half of that goes through XRP via its on-demand liquidity service. This product uses XRP as a bridge currency for near-instant cross-border settlements. The Ripple Chief says this continues to grow as it opens more payment channels and facilitates exchanges across more currency pairs. 
We're now processing billions of dollars of transactions every quarter and well over half of our total transaction volume because we do have a fiat and XRP enabled product called on demand liquidity. Over half of all of our transactions go through XRP. We're continuing to sign more contracts, more customers. We are growing because we open more corridors, more currency pairs. And so there's kind of a nice series of building, Garlinghouse said. Now, down to our Ripple's ODL service expansion and our current findings following Matt Hamilton's explanation. It is worth noting that Ripple's ODL service last year expanded to nearly 40 payout markets, which the firm said represents nearly 90% of the foreign exchange markets. The service is gaining momentum in Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Israel. Additionally, users of RippleNet, its fiat-based service, are switching to the XRP-based solution. Notably, the firm is also looking to expand to Europe. It bears mentioning that all of these come as the SEC lawsuit has limited the blockchain company's operations in the US, forcing crypto exchanges to delist XRP out of fear of litigation. The SEC alleged in December 2020 that Ripple's XRP sales represented unregistered security sales. The lawsuit is nearing its end after over two years, as Garlinghouse says he expects a ruling in the year's first half. The Ripple chief has reaffirmed his belief that Ripple will get a favorable decision from the judge in a separate CNBC interview, as reported by the Crypto Basic. I feel very good about where we are relative to the law and the facts, Garlinghouse asserted. Moreover, Ripple's former director of developer relations, Matt Hamilton, explained to the public how 80% of the initial XRP offering of 100 billion tokens ended up with the company. The explanation came after a question from one of Hamilton's followers about why, despite the decentralized nature of the technology, Ripple has so centrally generated a unique list of XRPL nodes and taken a huge number of tokens for itself. In the first place, as the blockchain developer explains, Ripple did not release anything itself. According to him, the initial XRP offering was released by the founders of XRPL into an open Genesis wallet where anyone could claim them. They then took 80 billion XRP and gave it to Ripple to build a commercial project that uses the token and network in its operations. As things stand, Ripple accounts hold less than half of the initial XRP offering, with 56.5 billion tokens distributed to accounts outside the company's jurisdiction. The topic of Ripple and XRP's affiliation is central to the debate about one of the market's largest cryptocurrencies. The ongoing, long-running U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission proceedings against Ripple seek to have XRP recognized as a security for that reason. However, Ripple officials deny that XRP is controlled by the company itself, even though some of them had a hand in the creation of XRP Ledger. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.